The wisest teachings of all time were taught by our Lord Jesus Christ. If anybody wants to be wise, he should listen and read the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ in the book of Matthew chapter 5, chapter 6, and chapter 7. These are the deepest teachings of wisdom in all the universe. And one of the things that strike me that brings the, one of the highest wisdom in life is what Jesus said in the book of Luke chapter 6 verse 31 when he said, As you would that men should do to you, do ye likewise unto them. Meaning, do to people as you would like other people to do to you. Treat people as you would appreciate it when you are treated like that. Treat people the way you love people to treat you. These are the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. God put another word in my mouth this morning to speak to you, just to encourage you and to motivate you, to inspire you, to bless you, to get you going, and to get you prevailing over situations and circumstances that make some other people fall and die before their time. And so this morning I pray that God's blessing will be upon your life. God will make a way for you where there is no way. God will make you to be plenteous in good. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Is it this principle that our Lord Jesus Christ taught us in Luke chapter 6 verse 31 is so powerful and full of wisdom that when you treat other people the way that you will be happy they treat you, life will be so good. You see, this is the reason why when our Lord Jesus Christ was asked the greatest of all the commandments, he brought all the commandments to two. And the first of the commandment, he said, the greatest of all the commandments, he said, Hear all Israel, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your mind and with all your being. That's the first commandment. He said, the second commandment is just like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. He said, these are the two greatest commandments. Apart from this commandment, there is no other law. Anyone that fulfills these two commandments will never err in law, will never commit error in any way. Because when you love your God, you will love the people of God. You will love the ones that God loves. And you know the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that anyone who believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. You see, God loved the world that he gave. Remember the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, God loved the good and the bad. And that's why when the rain is falling, the rain falls on the good and the bad. When the sun is shining, it shines on the good and the bad, meaning God loves the good people as well. He also loves the bad people because he is patient, waiting for the bad people to turn new leaves and become good. You see, God, the Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 9 that God is not slack concerning his promises, but is just slow so that he's waiting for people to come to repentance. Hallelujah. And this is why sometimes God looks slow to some people because God still loves the bad people. He wants them to change to good. Hallelujah. And so God is saying to you and I this morning, treat people well. Because the bad people of today can change. Who can know that Paul the Apostle, who was killing Christians and committing them to prison, will become such a mighty instrument in the hand of God that Paul the Apostle ended up writing the two thirds of the New Testament? Who would know that this Paul, who was killing Christians, even when Stephen was being killed, he was the one that sat down, they were putting the clothes on him. He was the one that encouraged people to do that. Who would know that that same Paul will be mightily used of God? Treat other people as you would want to be treated. Treat people with dignity. Treat people with respect. Because the people you downgrade today and, you know, abuse today and maltreat today can become another person that is great tomorrow. Many times the people that was treated badly, look at the story of Joseph. Joseph was underrated. Joseph was, you know, was mesmerized and abused by his senior brothers. He was so abused that they sold him into slavery. 
In fact, they were going to kill him. Can you imagine how he was malhandled? How his clothes was forcefully removed? Joseph's clothes was forcefully removed by his brothers. And he was thrown into the pit. And he was going to be killed. Save for his senior brother Reuben who said, no, don't kill him. And they sold him into slavery. He was treated the way nobody would like to be treated that way among those people. But they treated him the way they would never wanted to be treated. Don't treat people the way you don't like to be treated by other people. Treat people with respect. Treat people with dignity. Speak kindly to people. This is very important. No matter how high up you are there on the, on the ladder of life, God put you there. It's not by your power. It's not by your might. Yes, you may think, I worked that to get to this level. But let me tell you, most people who work that to get to that level don't behave the way you behave. People who work that to get to that level, they are humble people because they know it's not by power. They know that other people worked harder than them, but those other people are not there where they are. And so they treat people with dignity and respect. You, this morning, God asked me to speak this word to you. Respect people. Treat them well. You see, because you don't know tomorrow. We have seen servants who worked as house help in the house of people becoming so great. Remember the story of Joseph. When he was sold to Egypt, he was bought by one Potiphar. Potiphar turned Joseph to be his servant. He was a servant in the house of Potiphar. But this servant was committed to prison for a sin he knew nothing about. But eventually he became the governor. He became the prime minister of the whole of Egypt. How would Potiphar and his wife look at Joseph when he became the prime minister? Potiphar and his wife became servants to Joseph, who was their former servant. My, treat people with dignity, treat people with respect. We only see today, nobody knows tomorrow. When you maltreat people today and they become your boss tomorrow, how do you want to face them? Because you don't know tomorrow. You only know today. A word is enough for the wise. If you have house helps, if you have people living with you, if you have people living under your roof and you are treating them with rough hands, you are treating them, you are maltreating them, you are talking to them anyhow, think again. You don't know tomorrow. Your children may become servants to those children you are maltreating. They will remember. You yourself, you may become servant to those people you are maltreating. Remember, we have seen people who was once very rich, but now became so poor. You don't know tomorrow. Treat people with respect. The way you treat them today, they will remember tomorrow. If you treat them roughly today, they will remember tomorrow. And many people will repay you with the same coin. Think. This is the word of the Lord this morning. This is what God put in my mouth. Don't despise this word. Listen to this again. Turn a new leaf. Change your life if you need to change. And if this is not your life, you know this is good. You will know that I am speaking the truth. Please rebroadcast this to people. Thank you so much. It is well with your soul. If somebody loved you, rebroadcasted this to you, and you want to hear this kind of messages directly from me every day, just save my number with I Prevail. My number is plus 27740302381. Save it now. Send me a message. Add me. Just say add me, and I will reply by sending this to you every day. Thank you so much. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor. Joseph Adenuga, signing out this morning and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.